Hello, welcome to the Pathogen DLC gun video. Now, a lot of what I'll say is most likely personal preference. I mean, some people will agree, some people will not agree. It also depends on how much you play the game because I don't have all of the attachments, I don't have all of the builds ready, I don't have everything that someone maxed out will have. So, you might like some guns more than I do, but I think my general opinion will be available for the majority of people since nobody really plays the game to the extent. I mean, let's just say that Probably 10% of the people playing the game like to hardcore it and max out everything. So, is the DLC worth it just for the guns? Nope. Is, it a, is the DLC worth it just for the missions and the guns? Not really. I would say the DLC is worth about 10 euros. If you pay 15 for it, it's kind of like... Yeah, it's too much. Because I think out of the 8 guns, 4 are very bad and 4 are very good. I don't think there is a middle ground to it. So, first of all, let's speak about the bad guns, which some of them are not so bad because every gun in the DLC is a le at least a side grade to the best gun in the game currently. Or again, your personal preferences. So, let's speak about the rifles. What did they add in terms of rifle? Well, the STG Storm, which is a weird combination because... <clears throat> It has basically everything it needs, except that it's a burst rifle. To be honest, it's very accurate, very good recoil. That's at short range, by the way. Let's say this is medium range, or the little target there is medium range. And at long range, it's also super accurate. So, it's probably very good for a medic, but not very good for the gunner and some of the other classes. Also get stability, stability, it doesn't need more stability, I don't know why they give it more stability, some fire rate which is not really helpful, considering it's fire rate as it is, but also has damage and accuracy on it, also all of the guns from the DLCs have very very good perks at the fourth uh, tier, so this will also, this will probably be better than all, all other guns in the game, so yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. Let's compare it also with the Pulse Rifle. Again, depending on your attachments, your class, your builds, whatever, it can vary a lot. But, like I said, I don't really like this because you can have some problems. For example, if you point shoot like this without aiming, still very good. Still very good at medium range. At long range, of course, it's not so good. But it's a very solid rifle, I think, and probably the medics will like it, and some other classes that are not DPS will like it as well. Also, if you have a build, but again, it's, it falls under the bad category just because of how good the other weapons are and how good the weapons from the DLC are. Now, let's talk about the weapon that is straight up trash, in my opinion. It's a rifle that uses small bullets. It's basically an, a rifle that uses SMG bullets. <clears throat> but it has a stumble chance, and yeah, you can add it with some other stuff, but... Overall, I just hate this weapon. I played with it in a mission, and I did the lowest DPS out of... My teammates and they're not even those guys are not even dedicated DPS, but it's just so bad. It's automatic burst. So the accuracy at close range is very good. But at medium range it's it becomes very very hard to control it. At long range forget about it. You'll be lucky if you hit something that moves. It's not really that good at medium range, it's more like a close range rifle, why why would you want something like this anyway? It's an abomination in my opinion, the developers really don't know what they are doing. Again, it can be very good in the hands of a skilled player with all of the right attachments, but you're just going to regret it more or less. Now let's go to the handguns. The Dabula, damn, Bula machine pistol is actually decent, but because of the other weapons in the category and because of the way it fires, yeah, you will have problems with accuracy even at close range, but imagine at medium range. You can shoot it in short bursts, but it becomes more accurate, but... That's not really the way how to use it, right? It's like you're using an auto cannon, firing only single shots every minute. That's not how you use it. It also has probably one of the highest damage DPS. It's kind of like on the same level as the flechette, except that's an SMG and this is supposed to be a pistol. Stumble chance is okay, the other chances are okay, but like I say, it's kind of hard to use because it fires everything in a few seconds. Reload, the reload is pretty fast, but again, 
let's say you are moving, if you are moving and aiming this, oh, forget about it, it just flies all over the place. Point shooting this is basically impossible, even at close range. And like I said, there are just better options for this one. Not very fun to use in my opinion. And one of the heavy weapons that I don't really like, more, more or less because... Well, I guess if you, want, if you want to compare the machine pistol, you can compare it to the M10 auto pistol. And also the receive accuracy and weak point damage, it's not really that useful in my opinion. The fire rate is interesting, stability and accuracy are needed, but yeah, it's not enough in my opinion. Oh boy, the Vraja. The Vraja actually has a lot of potential to become one of, the, one of the better heavy weapons in the game. And I think it's very high on the tier list of the heavy weapons, but I just put it in the bad category because the other weapon, the heavy weapon, is very good. As you can see, it can slow down enemies, which is a very nice bonus. Okay, so let me tell you from the beginning, 50% slow. Stacks per projectile. How many projectiles does this thing have? Well, let's shoot and count. Uh, let's say 15. <laughs> so that will be kind of 15%, so this will be kind of 5 seconds, 30% slow. So you can kind of use it as a combo of some sorts, but again. The Vajra is not much better than the other weapons in the similar category, and it's definitely weaker than the auto cannon. Now, the Vajra can become super super good, but it lobs grenades. It has a good fire rate, especially with my attachments, but you have problems hitting targets that are at medium range. For example, if something is coming at you, it's kind of hard to maintain the firing speed, especially because you have to make small corrections. Remember how the projectiles or the explosives work in this game. If you miss it by a millimeter, it will not do damage. So, let's say a Xeno is coming down at you from that wall. You'll probably hit it with 3 or 4 shots, or on the first shots. Otherwise, you just have to be very immobile. And again, there are not a lot of situations where enemies are coming from from behind cover at you. Sometimes they'll come from up there, but again, it's very hard to use because it has a bit of a travel time. It's also pretty shiny. But very good in such a situation, especially at close range and at medium range, but again... Sometimes you'll just hit your opponent and it's a big ammo waster because it will be very hard to hit with one grenade and just stop. I don't know. I guess I like the weapon a lot and it can be super super good but at the same time the other options are better. Okay, so now let's speak about the weapon that I like. The weapons that I like. We'll keep the best for last. So first of all we have the grenade launcher. Oh, this is such a good weapon. Look at the damage. Let's compare it to the Kramer, right? <clears throat> so magazine capacity, well it does double damage, it has 50% less capacity, but that's understandable. But look at the stumble chance. It's 62, but it's also AOE. And the Kramer, I think it had something to do with yeah, stumble chance. And that's not the only good thing about it. Of course you can modify it a lot. Explosion range is huge. You can also shoot it and reload it, so you can basically shoot at it in a continuous mode, which is very useful. I mean, look at this. Another cool thing is that even at point fire, it's pretty accurate. You kind of guess where it will land. It's also modeled after a real-life grenade launcher, so that's probably one of the other reasons I like it. It feels a little better than the Vaja. Of course, the damage is much better, so yeah. Very good for the medic or a support class that needs to deal a lot of damage and then just, you know, run away. Shoot again. Super good, super versatile. I feel like aiming is almost as accurate as point firing it. Let's actually test that out. Yeah, it's almost the same in a way. Uh, I love it so much. And also it gets reload speed, which is kind of needed as you saw, because it can basically auto-fire continuously. And also a direct hits deal 10% additional damage to the target, so that means it becomes 1200 or more than that, so that means it becomes a bit similar to a heavy weapon, a very heavy weapon in my opinion, but that's why I like it. Now let's go to this guy over here. 
Ah, this shotgun over here, you may think it's comparable to the original one, which is very, very good, but it has a lot of advantages, in my opinion. You cannot see them over here, but the stats are pretty good, and also it fires. It fires pretty fast, especially with my attachments, as you can see, even at medium range, it's pretty accurate. And you know what else it can do? It, you can charge it to have a very accurate shot. So that means suddenly this weapon becomes even good at medium range. But to be honest, even at longer ranges I found it to be at least somewhat useful. So instead of a secondary weapon, <coughs> you can consider it more like a primary weapon, a jack of all trades. So that's why I like it. Also, it can do some cool stuff like this. Yeah, you can basically hold an entire hallway using it like this, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. And on some other, some other classes it becomes kind of hilarious. Yeah, it, it can become super good and it's so versatile, it's so good in many ways and it also looks very cool, it looks like a Kind of like the MP5 uh, modernized version of the shotgun. I don't know, just so many options, so many possibilities, and also has a lot of ammo. It can be used as a primary weapon, it also slows down the enemy. Super, super cool. Super good. Now let's talk about the other stuff. The SMG that is basically a shotgun. So you kind of notice the problems here. You cannot really compare this to the SMG. You more likely will compare it to a shotgun, to be honest. It fires 4 bullets, so that means 200 damage. I think it's a little on the lower side of the damage spectrum, but when you see how it shoots, you'll kind of realize it's not so bad. It's also very accurate and very stable for what it's supposed to be, so that's why I don't like the... Basically, the stupid rifle. 4C2 Astra. Is an SMG, kind of like the same as that other one, except it's so much weaker in my opinion. Too bad you cannot compare them, but... <clears throat> yeah. Even at longer ranges it's still useful because of the spread, it's relatively controlled. And the accuracy is not so bad, see? And you can even use it to burst, so it's kind of like a jack of all trades, the same as the shotgun, the same as the grenade launcher, so that's why I love this so much. Oh yeah, you want to see something cool? Imagine that something charging at you. Ah, uh, human sized. Oh yeah, one of my favorite guns indeed. Especially because it works with my class. My Lancer class, so... Why do I like the auto cannon so much? I think it's basically the perfect long range weapon in a way, and it also makes you feel like a space marine. Yes, there is a little bit of firing distance, a little bit of a delay between aiming and firing. I mean, the travel distance of the bullet. But overall, it's so good. It's also pretty accurate at longer ranges, and it has a very small AOE, so you can actually see what's happening. <clears throat> so you can kind of consider it a more rough sniper rifle. But that's not, all, that's not all the things that it's good at. I mean, you can compare it to the microburst and say, well, it's not so impressive, right? Well, you are wrong over here. Because it gets more fire rate and more stability on it. So that's 10% more fire rate and 10% more stability. So that kind of puts it in, um, in the highest DPS possible mark of the game. So yeah, imagine it's 5, per, 5 fire rate, 35,000 damage. And also, the ammo is pretty useful, so one shot can basically kill most of most runners on on a certain difficulty, let's say. And then you can also use it like this. It's also very good at point firing, you don't even need to aim, it's so accurate, I like it. And then just switch with the other gun, I mean this is kind of like my perfect combination for the Lancer, at least so far. The shotgun is great, but I just... I don't know, I like this combination because of reasons. <laughs> so let's do a little recap of the weapons. In my opinion, you should avoid. Astra, avoid completely. 
Maybe you buy this one if you like burst and you like very accurate rifles. It's more like a DMR than a rifle, so think think of it as you like. Take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> This pistol can be very good, but again, it's more like an SMG, it's not really a secondary weapon, it's more like a weapon you use to kill something and then switch to your primary, I don't know. I don't like it very much, to be honest. The visor can be a super, super good weapon, but I think there are just better options out there and in a way it kind of borders on being a support weapon. The fire rate can be very high, so it can do the same DPS as the other weapons and as the auto cannon, but... Sometimes if things get too close, you'll not really get a chance to kill them and you might... Well, I did more friendly damage with this one with, than with the auto cannon. And now let's go for the good ones. Grenade launcher. Hand... And handheld grenade launcher. Mm, to be honest, I don't find any reason not to use this because of the... High... High AOE, high damage, high everything. So, stumble chance. Everything you could have wanted, I think. And then the Lancer also gets everything nice. Shotgun SMG, what more can you say about it? Very accurate, very stable, very high fire rate. <clears throat> so I think this will basically do the almost the same amount of damage more or less as the Flechette, more or less again. But it has other, other good things about it. I mean, if you compare them a little bit, it's 720... Yeah, in a way it has a lot more ammo because of the capabilities of it, so look at the maximum amount of ammo and let's say 400 or 4 bullets, so that's 1600 1, bullets. That's basically double the damage capacity of the flechette, which exhausts his bullets too fast in my opinion, so again, it's, it's a lot of math and a lot of calculations, but so good. <laughs> the jack of all trade weapons, it, it has a relatively slow fire it but as you can see it's useful anything from anywhere and it also has this nice little debuff over here it also increases the charge speed no reason not to buy it auto can probably the coolest gun in the game currently i really recommend it anyway see you next time bye